there's something fundamentally wrong with a society that is not aware of, I'm thinking particularly of Bobby, is not aware of the central importance of art in the shaping of a human life. Any society that is not aware of that is a barbarous society. And we have a society that is not aware of that at all. The, the notion of art is, is it's a decorative thing. It's, uh, even in the schools sometimes, they may have changed a bit now, mm -hmm. but it was something you, something you did after you did the other subjects, and like subjects, like yes. geography and yes. French, and, then, and maybe on a Friday evening on something, you did some drawing. But it was not, uh, it was not really mm -hmm. at the center. Now, it seems to me that we would need a whole reversal of the curriculum in which that art is at the very center of the entire curriculum. That whatever subject you were doing rotated around the meaning of art, was related in some mm -hmm. way uh, to art. And you then ask, well, why? Because, um, as I say, art is the Art is the creation of worlds, the bringing into to existence worlds that were not visible, and it's the it's it's the area in which the imagination uh, imagination uh, takes over and in a way that orders uh, your reality. It's um, it also is the. It's one of the, the disciplines that, that sharpens your capacity to observe. Uh, that is, if, you, if, if, if you're a writer um, or if you're a painter or if you're a musician and so on, um, and serious, there's a much more careful and meticulous attention paid to the details of what you're looking at in order to describe it. So that a, a visual artist is always seeing things that most people pass and don't, mm -hmm. they're there, but you don't see them. The artists don't miss them because there's a requirement there of observing, observing uh, whatever is going to make up the world that you are that you are creating, and therefore I would think that from the primary school level, um, the arts of painting and the arts of music and the arts of writing, what we call literature and so on, should be the very right foundation of, of, of everything mm -hmm. uh, you did, so that uh, uh, you didn't even do art. I mean, art was why you were in school, right. if you want to put it that way. Uh, because the way you're describing it, it sounds like a creation of the critical faculty. Well, but that is what art is. It is a creation of the critical faculty. Mm -hmm. and, and what art is doing, it is, uh, this is, this is how it would be put by, if you were doing a, a theoretical thing on it, because art begins with the material, mm -hmm. but it is also, uh, it's a critique of what it is looking at. It's, right. either, it's, it's drawing attention to what may be the flaw, what may be the deficiency, and so on. Mm -hmm. And it's also drawing attention to what is your capacity to improving on this deficiency. Right. Right. So it's essentially a, a, a critique, uh, uh, a critique influencing the way uh, you, you look at it. And I'm saying that if you start in a way with that, kind of thing about observation and, uh, and the critique of what you observe, if you take that then to, you can then take that, um, that kind of discipline or exercise and so on, you take that then to any other subject. Yes. If you're doing geography, you, yeah. you, you, you take that, mm -hmm. that observation, critique yes. thing to geography, you take it to history, you take it mm -hmm. to whatever subject you're doing. Mm -hmm. If you begin mm -hmm. by having what I would call, because what you're doing, you're actually shaping the consciousness 
at that level, and mm -hmm. the consciousness is being shaped yeah. uh, uh, by this kind of expression, mm -hmm. by this kind of fundamental discipline that we call uh, the arts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, the, the, uh, that doesn't finish the, if we had that, uh, bring me to the state, mm -hmm. if we had a society that had been educated in that way, we would then have a society that would see art and the function of art almost as a center as it sees water. Yeah. And there would be there's something wrong if they, yeah. you know, people are complaining that they can't get no water. There's a water shortage. Yeah. There would be something wrong if when you look around and move around, yeah. there is no expression of the artistic life and so on. Whether you're looking at a building or whether you're looking yeah. at a house or whether you're looking at a bicycle or whether you are that, that way of how it looks, how it should look and so on, be influencing you. Now, if you had a society that was, in, from very early, its consciousness was and educated uh, in that way, it would be a society then which did not make any distinction between art and work because people don't think art is having to do with work anymore and therefore, um, you know, if I, well, I've had it years ago, it wouldn't happen now, but I, I'm working, I'm a writer, I'm working and somebody will come out, you doing anything? <laughs> you do anything I want to have a word with you. wouldn't do if I was in an office doing yeah. nothing. Yeah. If I was in an office doing nothing, he would have to be doing working. anything. You know? <laughs> you know? But we've not been able to see a, a man spending a whole day uh, yeah. with a paint and brush or spending a whole day trying to get the right sound uh, yes. in music and so on. That, that's a working day. Mm -hmm. We don't connect that with work. Mm -hmm. And we don't connect that with work because we don't have that training and that education in art mm -hmm. as being a fundamental reality of how you are or how you should be in the society. Mm -hmm. Now, I think we can, you know, you would need a, a people of influence and so on at the educational level to, to have that started. You have started groups and small schools mm -hmm. and so on. But if you could get that at a certain level, it means that at a certain stage you would uh, you would have a general population, maybe not everybody, but you'd have a general population uh, um, who could not have a house that did not express what was the art of the country. Right. You know, have, having the paintings yeah. of the country in the house would be like having water in the house. If you didn't have them, it, it would be something weird that, yeah. that you yeah. didn't have them yeah. uh, in the house and yeah. so on. Um, now it is seen more as a luxury or an extravagance mm -hmm. or, mm -hmm. or something of the kind because we don't really have and especially among the classes that may have the means of doing that don't really have the sensibility for if they have friends who are they might mm -hmm. buy something here and there mm -hmm. but they wouldn't really think of um, but it would the kind of conceptualization that you're doing would probably mean that art would become far more accessible, pieces of art would become would, far yeah, more yeah. accessible to ordinary people because it yeah, wouldn't have would, that yes, rare, because yes, yes. right now to. artists are, artists have to produce one piece in the market takes over. I mean, yes. if you're not in control, then yeah, the, uh, yeah. the market takes over. Yeah. Now, but the, one of two things that I read about that about the public thing is that, um, if you have that kind of, of education in the arts, then you would have a public for the arts. Mm -hmm. so. mm -hmm. um, you don't have it at the moment, so, yeah. so you don't have that public for the arts. Here mm -hmm. and there, mm -hmm. uh, one or two people might go to an, an exhibition. Now, failing that, they are, um, um, there is a role for, for the sponsorship. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you don't have uh, if you don't have that wide uh, uh, a public uh, to do that, I would think if you had uh, a sophisticated uh, not the whole lot membership but a state that saw the importance of that, um, it would make some provision for enabling there would be an enabling provision for artists to function. Mm -hmm. uh, without worrying about rent 
and so on. Now, well, that's what you call uh, uh, sponsorship. Mm -hmm. But that would have to be done in such a way that the, um, the, the artist has no particular allegiance to the state and no particular loyalty to the state. Because the, they already would like the danger. You would have a danger. fund out there that yes. had to, to go to yeah. according to the needs. And there would be some independent body that uh, mm -hmm. that decides mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. It may be a body within the, among the artists Artist themselves, themselves I mean, yes. Uh, yeah. Who decide that. I don't see anything wrong uh, with that. And you may in fact need it if you don't really have the kind of public that would uh, give that kind of, of, of support. It is, it is, it is uh, um, because there are things in our society which uh, the state supports and subsidizes without demanding, I mean, it, it, yes, it has to. a special uh, allegiance, it, right. Yes, uh, certain yeah. utilities, it, it has yeah. to, you don't have to be a member of, of any party, any or party because the state has to make sure I mean, the state has to make sure that you can get into the QEH. <laughs> yes. You know, they can't yeah. say it's only for B's. Yes. Or for D's. Yes. Oh, there's a ward B and a ward D. And, 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 <laughs> it's ward A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So, I yes. mean, that's one example. Yes. Now, if, the, if the state's relation to art was the same relation as it is to health. Yes. And so that, that is what we're talking about. That you, we must have this, yeah. and we have it according to where where the need exists and not where there is any particular uh, allegiance. Okay.